remote services can support many things, not just the classroom services, but can provide services for a last minute need, either an interpreter or a speech to text provider. Like I had just mentioned, maybe the classroom is limited. There can't be any more people in the classroom, but remote services could work out so that the provider can be remote or maybe the student could be remote and the provider is in the classroom. If you have a provider who had a last minute cancellation or someone is sick and having to stay home, remote services can be a fantastic solution to fill in those gaps. Remote services offer a consistency. You know, students may want a particular provider that doesn't live nearby, that isn't in the area. In that case, a remote interpreter can provide that consistency that the student is looking for. Some of you may live in rural areas. Your schools may be in a rural area where your options are more limited and providing remote services broadens your options. Remote services can be provided for people who have concerns with other high health risks and students who may not want to go into the classroom. Maybe classes are beginning to meet in person, but because of health issues, they are not comfortable going back to class yet. The student could join the class remotely if they're not comfortable yet being around people. Maybe they weren't able to get vaccinated for whatever reason. The students can be remote while everyone else is in the classroom. So think about the ways remote services could support all of these variables we come across. Remember too that remote services must be accessible, equivalent, and they must be qualified providers. Always check in with the student periodically throughout the semester as the weeks go by to make sure everything's going well. If it's done the right way, remote services can be very successful.